This evening we're talking to St Albans City manager Ian Anderson at a wedding windy Clarence Park where the Saints have put their league woes behind them to beat Bishop's Hall for 3-1 in the second round of the Hearts Senior Cup. I get the feeling Ian that the result was more enjoyable than the uh, actual game. Yes David, I think you know in, in the end we can we can look back and be satisfied that we won the game 3-1 but you know sometimes you've got to look at your performances and I didn't think our performance was, was good today. It's uh, I think everything was a bit slow, a bit deliberate, our passing wasn't good, we um, we didn't get in good habits today and that was really disappointing, especially after what I felt against the last three games leading up to today um, and, and I just felt we, we, we were really slow, we were on the back foot, we didn't do things sharp, we didn't do things quick and, and I say the only positive I'll take is that we won the game 3-1. Going an early goal down didn't help to a really cruel deflection and with the way things have gone lately you could have sensed there may be an upset but we come back really quickly, Oli Sprague got a very good equaliser. Yeah and that's something, you know, we've got to show that, I mean again like you say a wicked deflection and uh, it probably summed up where we are in our season at this stage of the season where nothing's really gone for us but we showed some character to come back and, and, and Oli got that but as I say I just felt we, we never really put them under pressure, we never really got in good areas. I didn't think we got in. We didn't put good crosses in in the first half. You know, everything was over hit. Um, and just I think you know generally that our quality in tonight's game wasn't good enough. And, and I've just spoke to the players now at length for probably 20 minutes. And uh, it's nice to do it after you've had a victory. Um, so you know, a lot of times this season because the performances haven't been good, we've, we've done it after defeats, which is which is dangerous. But it's nice to, to to speak to players after we've had a victory and. and and, and just let them know some of the areas we need to improve on because everything was slow, everything was deliberate, we didn't hit the target enough, we didn't react to balls coming off their goalkeeper, um, our corners weren't good, our quality wasn't good. And, and just overall, I think generally, you know, we were, we, were, we were poor again today and it was just a shame because I just felt we went back two weeks tonight. But again, as I said there, you know, I'm not going to sit there and, and accept that and you know, we'll drag them through and we'll drag them through again and we'll keep going and going and going because we've got to turn the league form around. And, to me, it's about having good habits week in, week out, not just when they feel like turning up. And that's that's the, the, the problem we seem to be facing at the moment. We mentioned our first goal was scored by a defender, and so was the second one, James Colocci, although he'd moved up front by then, and uh, finished off a good move. And the third one, at last, a forward got on the score sheet. A good finish by Albert. Yeah, it was. And we had that little sort of five-minute spell there where we got an energy from Albert. He, he'd done really well. He had an aggression and maybe just giving him a kick up the backside just before then. And we got a reaction. And he's put a great ball in. And James has reacted really well and got on the end of it. And as you say, they've doubled up again for the, for the third goal. But again, we just, as, as, as I said there, you know, we always seem to be susceptible to, to leaving ourselves a little bit exposed at the back. We... We had to make some che personnel changes in the second half just to keep the ball and just to come stop us giving the ball away cheap. And I always felt if they got a second goal with sort of five, ten minutes to go, it was going to be really tough. But we managed to see it out. I mean, we had one or two little scares there, and we got sort of one or two real good chances ourselves. And but we haven't put the game to bed. And you know, with, with the situation as it is, it's always uh, it's always going to be strange in, in terms of you know making sure we see the game out correctly. A couple of players seem to spend quite a bit of time down on the deck. Any injuries uh, coming out I think game? Josh Oysin's uh, just gone over on his ankle again. Just, uh, well, I say again, it's the first time he's done it, but he's gone over and uh, obviously he's feeling a little bit tender now. I think everything else is alright. Um, we just obviously got to try and get the, you know, the four or five players that are injured at the moment back by, um, by the time we go to Tombridge on Saturday week. I suppose one of the good things is 90 minutes for a, a player like Tommy Brewer who had that uh, time out with a three-match suspension. Yeah, and I felt Saturday, you know, he got stronger as the game went on and I felt today he got stronger as the game went on. He started to, to drive forward in the last sort of 20, 25 minutes. Um, but, uh, you know, he needs games, as you said. You know, he's had a month out from, from his last game. So, you know, Albert's been out injured for, for a month and, you know, we're just trying to play catch-up. So it was good to get tonight's game because we have got a bit of a... A rest in terms of no games, but you know we've got to go and train hard. We train hard Thursday. We'll train Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday next week because you know there's there's still some defic deficiencies in that in, in in the team that we have to make sure we get right before we take on Tombridge, as I say, on on Saturday week. I know uh, we haven't got. I uh, know you're not happy, sorry, tonight with tonight's performance, but I think you'd rather have a game set even have a break, wouldn't you? Um, I would say, yeah. I mean, obviously, <laughs> up till tonight, I would say, yeah, but I think. I think we need to get everybody back now. We, we've got to work hard with, with, with Joe and Sam Merson and uh, Solomon. Um, obviously, Taylor Miles is going to be a little bit longer because he's, he's, uh, 
uh, cracked ribs and uh, he's obviously torn his, uh, the, the lining to his lungs so he's going to be de definitely probably going to be six weeks but the other three we need to work extremely hard on trying to get them fit they need to join in on Tuesday nights for full training sessions so we need to work hard on on Thursday and Saturday with them um, so probably the break will be good at this stage just so we can get them three back up to speed as quickly as possible and after Saturday's training session, you're off to watch a match that uh, has quite bearing on the bottom end of a table. Yeah, I think you know we've got Tombridge the week after, so we'll go and uh, we'll go and have a look at that and see what we think of that. Um, but it's quite good to go and see other teams play and how they're playing at the moment, and uh, you know just just obviously keep myself in terms of what we've got to look for and what we haven't got to look for. So um, they're the ideal ways of doing it. Um, you know, Glenn will go and watch. Um, Watch Chelmsford play because we've got them at the end of end of November as well. So, you know, it's just about getting out there and making sure we get out to watch the opposition as quickly as possible, and trying to build a case from that side of it. One pleasing thing, you're still on course to uh, lift the uh, Hart Senior Cup. Well, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? So, uh, as I say, we've just got to take one game at a time. But you know, we've got to improve from where we are tonight. We can't, as I said before, we can't keep having these two steps forward and then we're taking a massive step backwards again tonight because we, there wasn't that sharpness which I was looking for and which I expected from Saturday I expected a real a real sharp performance tonight and I didn't feel we got it and it's disappointing when you come away yeah the results important and, and sometimes they always say it's best to play uh, poorly and win a game of football which is right and I'll take that because we are in the, in, in the next round and and, and uh, we've won the game tonight but you know I need, I need to see an improvement on some of that stuff that I've seen again tonight uh, looking at Stortford, Jamie Curiton came off the bench in the second half. You retired too early, didn't you, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, fair play to him. He's looked after himself over the years, so you've got to say well done to him. But, you know, Jamie, as I said, you know, his record is, is phenomenal in terms of games and goals scored. So, you know, good luck to him. He keeps himself fit and uh, I hope he has a good season for the rest of this season. Lovely. Thanks so much, Ian. And uh, we'll see you <coughs> a week on Saturday for that match against Tunbridge Angels down at Longmead Stadium, National League South. Kick-off is at 3pm. That's on the 16th of November.